It's pretty thick in here. How many plant species do you have? Oh, uh, we have about 20 different plant species and about 270 plants in here. Walking through these woods in North Jersey, we found here? strawberry bushes, locust trees, and willow oaks. This is about 15 to 20 feet. But after just a few paces, then you see the cutoff point pretty abrupt. That's, it. <laughs> That's because this 45 by 40 foot plot is a micro forest sprouted by the nonprofit Groundwork Elizabeth and John Evangelista. When we first came and we're like, oh, we want to build a forest in the middle of a city, everybody was like, uh, what are you talking about? That seemingly far-fetched idea was actually rooted in research. Now known as the Miyawaki method, Japanese botanist Dr. Akira Miyawaki demonstrated how densely planting native trees on small degraded plots of land land encourages them to compete for resources and thus grow more rapidly, reaching a fully mature self-sustaining status within 20 to 30 years compared to what normally takes up to a century. Watch as this microforest transforms in just five years. Are you surprised by the success of this microforest in just a short amount of time? I am absolutely blown away by the success and by the additional benefits. It's sequestering carbon, it's producing oxygen, it's extremely biodiverse. As you can tell today, there's bugs all over the place in here and uh, you hear different types of birds and you don't normally get that in the inner cities. Thermal imaging seen here by drone demonstrates the impact of microforests on temperature, an average of about 80 degrees in the woods versus a blistering 125 degrees in a nearby parking lot. And for a major industrial hub with a lot of pavement, the benefits bloom beyond there. This method is, has been practiced since the 1970s, but it's increasingly getting used in urban areas. Dr. Daniela Shevitz and her students at Kane University have been studying the progress. We're seeing soil permeability that increases by 50 percent under the microforest. That allows that stormwater to be absorbed. In so many places that flood, the water will now have somewhere to go. That played a major role in planting now three microforests in Elizabeth, New Jersey, prone to flooding. Earth Economics found this location alone will produce nearly $36,000 in annual benefits, such as reducing heat-related illness and water treatment costs. And helping to keep these pops of green alive, this group part of a paid city youth program. It definitely inspired me to like pursue the career I'm pursuing now, which is a major in environmental science, so this is really like going into my passion even more. Do you feel like you're making a difference in your hometown where you grew up? 100% and these are like permanent changes. There are more than 3,000 Miyawaki-inspired forests around the world, from one of the oldest examples in Japan to the UK to India. And the concept is sprouting up in popularity in the US too. Do you think this is just the beginning? Oh, I know this is just the beginning. And it really doesn't take a lot of scientific knowledge. It doesn't take a lot of money. What it takes is a community getting together to try to make a difference and to try to reclaim some of their land. As these tiny efforts are sowing a big impact. And you can plant a microforest almost anywhere, including sites as small as 10 square feet, as I mentioned. The keys are to identify a variety of native plants, use nutrient-dense soil, and apply a mulch to retain moisture. I love the idea, small but it. mighty. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you Still remember when we benefits. went forest bathing? I can't remember where we were. Oh, in California. We were in California. Yes, so we laid there under the trees. Oh, I do remember Yes. That. Nature there's, is healing, absolutely. There's something about healing, and it's yeah. peaceful, and you don't have to have a lot of space. So yes. I, we say yes to that And you, you, you love the outdoors. I love the outdoors, even if we're talking 10 by 10 square feet. Yeah, we'll <laughs> take it. Thank, Emily, you, thank, thank you, Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.